In our classes so far, we had seen how to rename the company name in our next gen supplier registration page, but we have not done any changes on the personalization aspect of this page. So that we will do in this class. First of all, I will try to make this request region as not required over here. Suppose if we don't populate also, user should be able to go to the next. So we'll see how to do the same. So in order to customize or personalize this, we have to go to this start page, that is register supplier start. Then you have to locate these fields and regions, that is configure fields and regions, click on this. So it will open up the business rule for our page. So basically, there are three ways how we can access this registration portal. One is from the internal supplier request. We can go to the procurement, then to the supplier. Under the task, we can go for the register supplier. Also with the help of self-service procurement service request. So Oracle will allow the users only to modify those things if we are going from the self-service procurement and internal request. But by default, Oracle will allow users to modify those details in case of supplier registration default in the business flow. So what we can do is we can duplicate as we cannot modify these details straight away. Suppose if you want to just unhide, hide or make it required optional. So in our case, we wanted to make this request result as optional. So this is possible over here, but we need to override this. In order to override this business rule, we have to just click on this and click on duplicate. Now here I will tell apply registration default. I will tell as a custom 01. So some name we can provide, click on create. So under the extension rules, we will get this overwritten business rule for default case, that is for the supplier registration. Now here, we have to just locate what personalization we have to do. We want to personalize this request region. So we have to locate where is this request region. Over here, we can find that request region is available. We can first of all make this as visible and then we can make this as optional. I have opened this from the internal supplier portal. I have not shown from the supplier registration default view. So in order to see how it will look in the default view, just click on this preview. We will open up this verification page. Here we will provide our Gmail address and we will quickly populate the access code which we received over the email. Click on continue. Now, if you see request reason is visible and it is marked as optional. So, this is a change we had done over here. That is over here, we had made this request reason as optional. Suppose if we make this as required and coming to the DFF also, if you want, you can make this as DFF as visible. So, all the DFF fields will be visible. Let me just enable the DFFs and if any of the field you want to make it as mandatory, you can just make this as required something. So one more change, what we will do is request reason we have made it as required, but we will make the company or the website as mandatory. So this we will make as required. Now again, we will try to verify those changes. Now let me just go to the verification, click on this preview. So it has previewed our application. Let me just populate our Gmail address and quickly populate the access code which we received over the email. Click on continue. So here we had done couple of changes. We have made this website as required. If you see, user will not be allowed to go ahead unless they populate the website details. Request reason, if I go to the start over here, coming to the business rule. So request reason is also required. This is also required and we had enabled the DFS. So the DFS will be visible over here under the additional information. That is office recycling percentage and the depth rating. So if you want, we can modify those details as well. Coming to the LOV over here for the DFS, you have to enable the anonymous access on the descriptive flux fields. That is for the value sets. First of all, we have to go to the setup and maintenance to the manage profile options. You have to add this over there. And for the security for the value set, you have to add those rules for the security. Then only users will be able to see the LOV. Otherwise, they will see the blank. So you might end up in these issues. So you have to add those rules what Oracle is 
saying over here i will provide this link for the documentation in the comment section also we will cover in our subsequent classes this topic as well so once we verify all the details is working the customization what we have done so next step is we have to just add and commit the changes i will just do over here and i will straight away go and commit the changes so this is one more way so we don't have to add and then commit we can straight away go over here and tell i read the personalization on company profile click on commit done so this we have committed and now we will push the changes to the remote branch so that the manager and the team lead can know the changes what we have done so done we have pushed the details to the remote branch from our local branch in our next class we will see how we can publish the changes so that the changes will be visible to everyone who is accessing this supplier registration to create or register a supplier